why not showcase your wild side with a smoldering gray makeup look paired with fiery red hair? Who doesn't love to stand out in a crowd? And why not try something new? Don't be afraid to show off your new fall style. It's going to be turning some heads. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to showcase my Lorac palette that I had purchased the other day. And this is pretty new, so I'm super excited to show you guys um, a look with this. I did a smoky gray, it's a more wearable everyday smoky look. And I'm also going to be showing you guys some new Sigma brushes, um, eyeshadows, and lip gloss. I can't wait to show you because of how pigmented and amazing these products are. Sigma actually sent me a beautiful package full of brushes and makeup, so I can't wait to show you guys some of those products. If you want to know how to get this everyday smoky glam look, please keep watching and I will show you how. Okay, so first I'm going to be applying my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I'm just going to be applying this with my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Next, I'm going to be going in with my NARS foundation. And I absolutely love this brush. This is um, the 3D HD Kabuki that Sigma sent me. And I can't say enough about it. It really just glides the product onto your skin. It doesn't absorb the product. Um, with most brushes that I've used, they just suck up all the foundation. But this sits really nicely on top and it gives a smooth and even finish. That's what I love the most about this brush. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Naked Skin Concealer and my Precision Brush by Sigma. And this is the 3D HD Precision Brush. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that concealer and blend it out. And I really like this brush too. It's a, like a smaller version of the Kabuki and it fits really nicely under the eyes. Next, I'm going to be contouring a little bit and I'm using my Kat Von D contour kit. I'm just taking the bronze shade in the middle and contouring out with this Real Techniques brush first and then blending it out with my Tarte paddle brush. And I really like this brush because it gives a very even contour and it doesn't look sharp at all and that's what I really like about it. Next, I'm just going to be contouring my nose with the taupe color from the Kat Von D contour kit and this is just a process I go through every time I do my makeup. It takes a little bit, but it's a lot of blending. And I'm using a Morphe brush and a Sephora blush brush to just keep blending those colors together and also out so there's no harsh lines. Next, I'm applying some highlight by Becca. Champagne Pop, my favorite highlight ever. Next, I'm going to be applying this Sigma blush, and this is Cheeky Powder Blush. I love it so much. This color is perfect for my skin. It's not too much. You can really pack this on to get that color payoff, and it's a beautiful color. Um, I can't say enough about this blush. I'm going to be using this a lot. I just like to bake right underneath my blush and contour, I'm just using a Maybelline Loose Powder. And this is an alternative to the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I find it just as good, if not better. Um, I get a lot of caking and um, lines around my mouth. So I love to do this to just sharpen up my contour and also bake in my foundation so it doesn't crease on me. I leave this on for about five minutes and then I dust it off with a powder brush and this really just sets it really nicely and my makeup does not budge at all. So if you have a problem with your makeup staying on, I really suggest you do this because it helps out so much. Now I'm just dusting it off. Next, I'm going to be filling in my brows with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and I'm using the shade Chocolate. And I bought this Brow Drama palette at CVS, and I was really excited to try it. This is in the shade Auburn, and I'm just filling in a little bit more. 
and then setting it with some clear brow gel to keep everything in place. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my eyeshadow primer, and this is by Kat Von D. And then once I'm through with that, I like to set it with a powder. Next, I'm just gonna go into my Lorac palette, and I'm gonna be taking the color Tawny and Melon, and I'm just blending that into my crease. I'm using the Sigma Buff and Blend E39 brush. I love this brush. And I'm just blending that in. Next I'm going to go in with the color Ash and I just put this all over my lid and blended it outwards. I'm using a fluffy brush to do this and that's all I'm doing, just kind of blending this around and darkening up the outer V with the color Ash which is a grey, bluish color. It's really beautiful and it's very buttery. Um, you don't really have to apply that much to get a lot of pigment out of it. So I'm just going in and blending and then adding more. That's just the steps that I'm taking to do this. And I'm now going back in with that buff and blend brush and just applying some more on the outer V. I really wanted to smoke this look out so I applied that same color on the bottom lid. And then I'm just gonna go back in and use that same buff and blend brush to make it very smoky. I'm gonna be applying a vanilla eyeliner to my waterline to make my eyes appear a lot larger. I didn't wanna use a dark shade because I really wanted to bring out my eyes with this look. Next, I'm just gonna apply some L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I'm just gonna put a light coat because I am going to be applying some false lashes. They're actually Coco Goddess lashes, and these are Soho. These are one of my favorite lashes to use for more of the natural, no liner looks because they're so dramatic that you really don't need any eyeliner when you wear these. They're one of my favorite lashes um, to wear right now. They're so long, so if you're not into the super long lashes, then I don't suggest these, but I love a very long, dramatic lash. Next, I'm just gonna smoke it out even more, applying that ash shade again underneath my bottom lashes. Then I'm just gonna apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. Next, I'm gonna be taking this Urban Decay lip liner and this is in the shade Deep. This is a perfect nude. It's not too brown. It has a little bit of orange in it and I think it's really pretty. It's similar to MAC Spice. If you love that lip liner, you will really like this one too. I'm just gonna fill in my lips like I normally do. And then I'm just gonna go in with a lipstick. And this lipstick is more like a buttery, butter gloss lipstick. It's called Baby Baby and it is by Clinique. Right over the top of that lipstick, I'm going to apply the sample lip gloss that Sigma sent me, and this is Get Ready Lip Vex. This is such a beautiful gloss. It's perfect over any nude lipstick. Next, I'm just gonna touch up my blush and also my highlight, and then I'm finished with this look. I really like this look for even an everyday wear. It's perfect, it's not too smoky, and I really love it. It's very beautiful, and I hope you like it too. Thank you so much for watching my video. And Sigma, if you are watching this, thank you so much for sending me my very first package. I enjoyed it, and thank you so, so much. Okay guys, that is all for this smoky everyday look. I hope you enjoyed it, I really did too. And I can't wait to dive into more of these colors. I think this is a great palette and I'm so happy that I purchased it. I definitely think you should too. If you're into experimenting with different colors, this has 
a wide range. And I also absolutely love all the brushes that I used in this video. They're so soft. They put my makeup on so beautifully and I can't wait to use those for the rest of this season as well. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for more tutorials that are coming soon.